Yo, so what is up everybody on YouTube? We are back today with a brand new video. And for today's video, we are going to be doing yet another career re-simulation in NBA 2K20. And like I said in the last video, the top comment shows who we did this time. And of course, it ended up being Larry Bird. Now, this is going to be a very interesting career simulation to see just how his game would have actually played out in today's current NBA. But before we hop into it, please be sure to smash that like button. And if you are new, definitely hit that subscribe button as we make career simulations. And we might even throw in a few rebuilds here and there. So if you like that, smack it now. But as you can see, Larry Bird gets drafted number one overall in the 2020 NBA draft. But this time by the Sacramento Kings. And let's take a look at what this Kings roster that Larry Bird actually has to play with has to offer for us here. So let's go over to the Kings real quick and see what this squad is exactly looking like. So beyond Larry Bird, we have De'Aaron Fox, Marvin Bagley, Buddy Heald, and a very solid team, Jeremy Grant. Um, honestly, just a very solid young core around him, Rashawn Holmes. Harrison Barnes is even on the squad as well. In year one, Giannis Antetokounmpo gets, ends up getting MVP. And to my surprise, Larry Bird actually does not get Rookie of the Year as LaMelo Ball sweeps it from him. And at the end of year one, checking the standings, we actually did make playoffs as the number five seed, which is huge, honestly, because how competitive the Western Conference is. Kind of interesting to see what Larry's stats were looking like, and honestly, they are very solid. 19.8 points per game, 6.4 rebounds per game, and very great assist numbers as well possibly being maybe a guy that could get a triple-double season at some point, as he's already up to an 86 overall at the end of year one. But, of course, we do have playoffs here, and we have a first-round matchup up against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns, who we actually end up destroying 4-2. to two. Moving on to the second round here, we have a matchup up against the Warriors, of course, with Steph and Clay. So never an easy matchup at all. And unfortunately, this Kings really young squad was not able to get it done. Losing 4-2, Larry Bird actually having a pretty good game leading the team and scoring there. But it was not enough to combat that scoring from Steph. And of course, Sixers versus the Warriors right there in the finals. And the Sixers actually come out on top. And Bede getting himself a finals MVP. Moving into year two here, we have Larry Bird already at a 91 overall for this team now the highest overall on the squad and like i said we have a very young core around them so it's going to be interesting to see just how good they actually can be together so let's see end of year two here we have Giannis yet again getting another regular season mvp award really to no one's surprise it's almost a lock Cade Cunningham gets Rookie of the Year with the Detroit Pistons and DeAndre Ayton actually gets Defensive Player of the Year and taking a look into the playoffs, let's see what I, we actually finished standing-wise. And wow, to my surprise, we finished the number fourth seed in the Western Conference, even improving from last year. Larry Bird now at a 93 overall, putting up 22.9 points per game, and really having a very full stat sheet with both rebounds and assists to go along with it. We have a first-round matchup here up against the Warriors, who did knock us out last year, and... Unfortunately, it actually ends up being the same result as we get knocked out by them yet again, 4-2. to two. And they do actually have James Wiseman as well, definitely making that team a lot more well-rounded. Um, Trey Young and the Hawks end up winning the finals in this year against the Memphis Grizzlies and John Morant. But that's not too important, so we move into year three. So in year three, let's see if there's been any big changes to the roster that could honestly help us or hurt us. Uh, we still have De'Aaron Fox, Marvin Bagley, Larry Bird now up to a 95 overall, starting to get some accolades on the board, and still with Buddy Heald as well. Um, Luka Doncic actually ends up getting regular season MVP, and as you can see, Larry Legend actually makes the All-NBA first team, but the downside to that is we could not even get the 8th seed this year, as we had a pretty bad regular season. Larry Bird, 24.2 points per game, and obviously a very full stat sheet. But somehow this team just could not get it done in year three. And uh, we get a Pelicans versus Celtics finals here. A very good Celtics team, as you can see. And obviously this Pelicans team, you can never count out considering they have Zion. But they get 4-0 swept by the Boston Celtics. 
Moving straight into year four, hopefully our luck in the playoffs this year is a little bit better as we still have that big core three. Luka Doncic yet again gets regular season MVP with the Dallas Mavericks. And let's see how things actually kind of played out. Looking at the standings, we unfortunately did not make playoffs yet again back-to-back -back years with only 37 wins. You don't love to see it. Although Larry Bird did put up 27 points per game, which is super impressive this year. So, so unfortunately, we are going to be watching the playoffs from the bench yet again as we get a Philadelphia 76ers versus Phoenix Suns finals, which is honestly a very interesting kind of combination as both teams are such young teams. And the Suns actually have Kevin Durant as well, which definitely helped them beat that Sixers team in a 4-2-0 sweep. Moving on to year five, hopefully our playoff luck is a little bit better this year. And you can kind of see what we're working with. As we added Aaron Gordon and Derrick Rose in the offseason, Giannis yet again gets himself an MVP. And those additions apparently were enough to help us actually sneak into the playoffs with 44 wins on the season. Larry Bird's stats, of course, came down points per game-wise a little bit. But if that is going to contribute to us winning games, that's really what matters at the end of the day. Although our luck may have ran out pretty quick, because we got a first round matchup up against a perennial MVP candidate in Luka Doncic, and somehow we actually end up beating them, which is kind of insane, 4-2, so if we can take out Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks, anything is possible, as we also defeat the Utah Jazz here in the second round. Moving on to the Western Conference Finals against the former NBA champion Phoenix Suns, who we end up sweeping clean 4-2-0, moving us on to the big game here, the NBA championship up against the Milwaukee Bucks and Giannis Antetokounmpo. So let's pray that we actually can come out on top here and get our first ring for Larry Legend. And it's not looking great as they start off 2-0 on us, but we get three games straight, making it a 3-2 series. It is a six-point ball game with about one minute left. So honestly, something crazy could happen and a swing could happen here. Let's hope not, but let's see what happens. As the Bucks now have the ball down six with about 49 seconds left, and if they want to make something happen, they have to make it happen Quick, as they do indeed get a bucket, making it a four-point game here with only seconds left on the clock. We are at the top of the key with the ball right now, and let's just hope we can secure this dub. It looks like they're kind of trying to let time play out a little bit. Larry Bird to De'Aaron Fox in the corner, and it is a splash. from De'Aaron Fox, of course, greening that three, clutching up to give us a seven-point lead. And as you can see, that is exactly what we need as time runs out. We are going to be winning this game 123-116 to 116, as Larry Bird gets himself his first finals championship here with the Sacramento Kings. This is a day for history. Let's see just how many Larry can rack up in Sacramento and just how great his dynasty here can be. So I'm kind of interested to see which one of the guys actually gets finals MVP. It very well could be Larry, but you never know. Great game there from Giannis and Larry Bird, of course, doing his thing. Putting up 22 points on only 7 of 8 shooting. And of course, our guy Larry Bird gets finals MVP in 2025, getting himself his first NBA championship. Moving on to year 6, let's see if we can repeat. You see what the squad is looking like. It is no joke of a team. So hopefully we can do it again. Cade Cunningham, of course, gets regular season MVP already. And the Kings are the number two seed in the Western Conference. So this is going to be huge. Larry Bird obviously having a fantastic season yet again. Now at a 99 overall. And, of course, De'Aaron Fox and Marvin Bagley also playing huge roles on this team. We have a first round matchup here up against the Golden State Warriors, who actually have Klay Thompson coming off the bench as their sixth man at this point. But thankfully, we were able to come out on top of this series and get a clean sweep on them 4-2-0. Moving us on to the second round up against Devin Booker and the Suns, and yet again, another clean 4-0 sweep. Moving us on to the Western Conference Finals up against Zion Williamson and the New Orleans Pelicans. This is always going to be a hard-fought battle, so let's see how it turns out. We go to Game 7, and unfortunately, in Game 7, we cannot get it done with a huge game from Zion there. 
putting us to rest. It is going to be a Pelicans versus Hornets finals here. Hornets team, obviously very good. As you can see, P.J. Washington and Anthony Edwards. And then, uh, honestly, it could go either way. Zion ends up actually getting finals MVP. And the Pelicans, of course, getting a chip. Moving into year seven here, these accolades for Larry Bird are starting to get very, very impressive. 93 overall Darren Fox now into 91 overall Marvin Bagley. Um, and honestly, our supporting cast is very, very solid this year. Cade Cunningham gets MVP with the Detroit Pistons. And as far as our standings go, we finished the number five seed in the Western Conference. So not too bad, but not where we once were. Uh, Larry Bird, 21.4 points per game. Definitely looking very, very solid. In the first round here, we find ourselves with a matchup up against the Memphis Grizzlies and, of course, Ja Morant. A very solid team, but I do think that we are better than this team as it was a pretty easy victory, sweeping them clean 4-0. Moving on to the second round here, up against an OKC Thunder team. That is no joke with Shea Golders Alexander and LeBron James Jr., a.k.a. Barani. And unfortunately, we could not come out on top of this team. They were the number one seed, and they end up beating us in the series 4-2. And kind of going right to the championship, you get Suns versus Celtics in the finals here. And it could go either way, as both of these teams are very, very good teams. And the Suns end up taking it 4-1. And who ends up getting finals MVP here? I'm assuming Devin Booker. But DeAndre Ayton actually gets it, so that's interesting. Moving into year eight here, year eight of Larry Bird's career, we added Zaire Williams to play that two-guard position. Definitely a big upgrade for us there. Giannis Antetokounmpo actually surprisingly still getting MVPs in year eight of the Sim. And we finished the number two seed in the Western Conference behind only the Brawny-led Thunder. Of course, another great season there from Larry Bird, 21.3 points per game. And as always, he has a pretty full stat line. Yet again, another first round matchup here up against the Memphis Grizzlies for us this time. And instead of a clean 4-0 sweep, they actually end up taking it to seven with us and we end up edging them. So moving on to the second round here, up against Zion Williamson and the Pelicans. And yet another tough fought series going to game seven. But thankfully we did come out on top with a big game there for Marvin Bagley in all honesty. Kind of a struggling game there for Larry Bird. But it was enough to get us to the Western Conference Finals here up against Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks where we come out on top of the series 4-2-1. That's huge. Getting us back in the opportunity to have another championship here up against the Giannis-led Bucks, but this time they do destroy us 4-2-1. So we move into year 9, getting even more playoff experience and championship experience for Larry. Cade Cunningham getting a regular season MVP there in year 9, and we are the number 5 seed in the Western Conference yet again. Larry Bird, 22.1 points per game, obviously still at a 99 overall. Second highest score on the team, now Marvin Bagley the third, And a first round matchup up against Zion Williamson and the Pelicans. Yet again, that was a very tough fought series against them there, but we do end up coming out on top, moving on to the second round up against Bronny and the Thunder yet again. So hopefully this time it's a different result, and it's a different result but for the negative, as we do not even get one game on them and they sweep us 4-0, which you don't love to see. You get a Spurs versus Pacers finals, and I'm kind of interested to see what these teams are looking like. So Jalen Green and Jason Tatum over there on the Spurs, and the Pacers have Jalen Durham and Tyler Harrow, and the Spurs end up coming out on top, winning that series 4-2, with Jairus Walker getting finals MVP. So moving into year 9 of the Sim here, Larry Bird is obviously right around the peak of his career at this point. 99 all around two way and honestly i think this might be the year that we secure another championship for the young goat the squad looking pretty similar to what it was looking like last year and cade cunningham yet again gets another finals mv a regular season mvp here excuse me with the detroit pistons as we are the fourth seed in the western conference with 53 wins which is honestly a pretty high amount of wins to only be the fourth seed but 22.1 points per game for Larry Bird, and of course, Darren Fox and Marvin Bagley still doing their things as well. First round matchup here up against the Minnesota Timberwolves, Marcus Smart, Jalen Johnson, and a pretty interesting team that they have there, but that team is apparently not good enough to take us down as we end up beating them in that series 4-2. Moving on to the second round matchup up against this dreaded team that we keep getting knocked out by, the Thunder, and yet again, it happens 
We just can't beat this team. They are our kryptonite. But in the finals here, you have a little bit different. You have the Thunder versus the Magic. And I'm kind of interested to see what this Magic team is now looking like. They have Michael Porter Jr. and Alonzo Ball. And as you can see, the OKC Thunder and Bronny end up taking this series. Bronny getting himself a finals MVP in year 10. Moving right into year 11. The year is now 2031. Still 99 overall. Larry Bird is chilling. Starting it. Definitely build up his accolades for sure. And let's hope that this year can be the year that we go and get another championship. Because the little dry spout we're on right now is not what you'd love to see. Bronny gets a regular season MVP right there with the OKC Thunder having a fantastic season to say the very least. And to check the league standings, we honestly had a pretty bad dip down. Um, we finished as a sixth seed, but 55 wins for the sixth seed, that's pretty just insane in all honesty. Larry Bird, actually not the highest scorer on the team. This point guard that we apparently got at some point in the season was doing work. First round matchup up against Mikey Williams and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And now what you love to see is we get 4-0 swept by Mikey Williams and the T-Wolves. Hornets versus the Thunder in the finals right here. Of course, Anthony Edwards and the Hornets versus Bronny and the Thunder. Anthony Edwards comes out on top and gets a finals MVP for himself and the city of Charlotte. In year 12 here, the team yet again is very similar, and this team has won a championship, so obviously they can do it again. You see Bronny gets regular season MVP, and thankfully we get the number one seed in the Western Conference here. Larry Bird putting up 21.2 points per game on the season, and we have a first round matchup up against this Lakers squad, who ends up being no match for us, getting swept 4-0. A huge game there from De'Aaron Fox to help us solidify the dub. Second round matchup here up against the Minnesota Timberwolves who did knock us out in the first round last year. And yet again, we do get a 7 with them, but we actually do come out on top, thankfully, which you love to see. Moving on to the Western Conference Finals here up against a Warriors team that no longer has Steph or Clay, And we end up beating them as well in 4-1 fashion. Not bad at all. Moving on to the finals here up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And this is a little bit more tough of a matchup for us to say the very least. And we're up 3-2 to two in this. And of course, we're going to hop into SimCast and kind of see what's going on. So we hop in and we find ourselves leading 150 to 128 with about 30 seconds left in this bad boy. So as you can imagine, there is no chance for a comeback. And we pretty much have solidified ourselves a dub and a championship here. Larry Bird getting an absolute dot to Marvin. And Bagley there um it's it's gonna be great a second NBA championship for Larry Legend in this sim with a victory of 152 to 130 beating the Cleveland Cavaliers 4 to 2 in the series getting himself his second championship and hopefully his second finals MVP award to go along with that to take a look at the box score from that one, Amani Bates put up 41 points just to take that L, with Larry Bird putting up 27 and 10. And surprisingly enough, Larry Bird does not get finals MVP in that one. It is Jalen Johnson. So moving into year 13 here, we have Larry Bird now starting to finally hit that regression wall just a little bit, down from a 99 last year to a 98 this year. But obviously a 98 is still incredibly high. So let's see what ends up happening this year. Cade Cunningham gets a regular season MVP award yet again with the Detroit Pistons. And we are the number one seed in the Western Conference for back-to-back -back years. So you'd love to see a 21.9 points per game for Larry Bird on the season. Marvin Bagley still doing his thing as well as our number two leading scorer. First round matchup here up against Darius Garland and the Lakers. But we do end up defeating them 4-1. Zaire Williams and Larry Bird both having fantastic games there. Second round matchup here up against the Rockets, who I honestly have not seen in the playoffs for a couple of years here now. And they came back with some vengeance, actually beating us in the seven game series 4-2-3, which definitely sucks a little. But they did find themselves in the championship here up against Anthony Edwards and the Charlotte Hornets, who are perennial contenders at this point. So let's see how this one actually ends up playing out. As you can see, it is a very close series to start off, and the Rockets honestly are starting to take it off a little, and they end up winning 4-2 over that Hornets team as kind of the upset of that whole playoffs. Larry Bird now at a 95 overall, down another three points from last year. Uh, Marvin Bagley sitting at a 92, and our point guard at a 91 overall. 
Um, De'Aaron Fox as well starting to hit his regression a little now at a 90 overall. Mikey Williams is regular season MVP this year with the Timberwolves. And where did we finish standing-wise? Number two, not bad, alone number two in the Western Conference, behind only the Warriors. Larry Bird, great season, over 20 points per game still. And our first round matchup is up against that Rockets team that knocked us out last year. And yet again, not the greatest luck against them as they do beat us in seven yet again. Warriors versus the Hornets here in the finals. This Warriors team was the number one seed coming out of the Western Conference. But this Hornets team is nothing to play with as they do have Anthony Edwards and a very solid team. Oh, well, Shakir O'Neal is actually on that Warriors team at the two-guard position. And the Warriors end up taking it pretty easily 4-1. Moving into year 15 of Larry Bird's career, we are now a 91 overall here. Definitely that regression wall has hit. Um, Carlisle, our point guard, is a 92. Larry Bird, 91. Marvin Bagley, 90. Zaire Williams, 90. And De'Aaron Fox, all the way down to an 87 overall. And wow, we actually missed the playoffs with only 34 wins this season. That's tough. You don't love to see it. Larry Bird still hanging in there, putting up that over 20 point per game mark at 20.6. You get yet another Hornets versus Warriors finals here. And let's see if it plays out the same way again. If the Warriors have a pretty easy road to winning this championship as they did win last year, 4-1. It looks like the Hornets aren't letting that happen this year as they find themselves up 3-1 in the series. And they end up actually winning it 4-2. Anthony Edwards steps up and gets finals. MVP. As you can see, a lot of young guys are already starting to retire at this point in the sim. We're in year 16 of his career. He is now an 86 overall. Mikey Williams gets yet another regular season MVP here with the Minnesota Timberwolves with 35.7 points per game. This year, we get a Warriors versus Cavaliers finals here. Uh, definitely should be interesting as this Warriors team is definitely very good, but the Cavaliers are not coming out to play. 3-0 and they end up winning the series 4-1 getting themselves another chip the year is now 2037 we're in year 17 of Larry Bird's career and I'm sure he's hit that regression wall really bad probably in the low 80s if I had to guess at this point in his career so let's look into it and actually see where his overall is and um so they actually have him at only an 82 overall now so definitely did hit that regression wall pretty hard and this team is definitely past its prime as Marvin Bagley's also an 82 now as well. Mikey Williams getting yet another uh, regular season MVP with the Minnesota Timberwolves here. And as you can imagine, our team of kind of older washed up players at this point is not making the playoffs. Larry Bird still putting up 14.3 points per game. So still getting some scoring in there. Timberwolves versus the Cavaliers here. And so it's Amani Bates and the Cavaliers versus Mikey Williams and the Timberwolves. So this is honestly a very interesting matchup we have here. And let's see how it turns out. Mikey Williams actually ends up routing Imani Bates and winning the series 4-2. Of course, Mikey Williams getting finals MVP. Now moving into the year 2038, year 18 of this sim. Larry Bird now at only a 78 overall. I would assume in all theory this probably is Larry Bird's last career year in the NBA. He is a two-time champion, a ridiculous amount of time all-star. Been on the all-NBA first team countless times they have him coming off the bench as the seventh man on this squad so he's still getting some tick mikey williams here getting yet another regular season mvp with 29 points per game definitely showing out in the later years of this sim mikey williams is um 35 wins for us this year so definitely not too great still missing the playoffs larry bird only 10.9 points per game and he's definitely starting to just regress in all categories as he is now 40 years old, apparently, which is pretty insane. As unfortunately, we are watching the playoffs from the sidelines, so we might as well just simulate through and kind of see what's going on. So Mikey Williams and the Timberwolves make it to the finals up against Anthony Edwards and the Charlotte Hornets. So definitely a dogfight here in all honesty, as you can see a very back and forth series as Anthony Edwards does end up routing Mikey Williams and winning 4-2, getting himself a finals MVP award. The year is now 2039 and did our guy retire? Larry Bird, of course, did indeed retire. I think it was about time retiring with the likes of LaMelo Ball, James Wiseman, Denny, just like some great players in that kind of era. Three of them making the Hall of Fame right there. And of course, they are going to retire Larry Bird's jersey. We'll look through kind of um, all their awards and see where he falls. I'll just let this 
show out while I'm speaking. If you made it this far throughout the video, as always, comment GOAT in all capitals. So I know you are a true Bean Squad supporter. I really do appreciate you all. Let me know who you guys want me to sim next or resim down in the comment section below. I appreciate every single one of you. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Bean Squad out. Peace.